We're in Bangkok and Thai food is supposed to be the best food in the whole world. But is it any good for vegans? Let's find out. We've decided to take a break from the UK for a while to see what vegan food adventures can be had in Southeast Asia. We met 13 years ago in Thailand, so this is going to be a very special trip for us both. Thailand is in the top 10 most visited countries in the world, with over 35 million foreigners coming here every year. Many of those tourists come here not just for the sun and the beautiful people, but for the delicious food, which is what also brings us here. We have been sent on a mission by a British Thai food company called Thai Taste to see what vegan food is on offer in Bangkok, if any at all. So sit back and watch as we travel all over this wonderful but hectic city in search of some plant-based Asian delights. So we found this really cute little restaurant and um, we've got so many vegan options. It's just around the corner from Koh Sam Road and it's called Rest In. And uh, they do everything from Thai, authentic Thai food and um, Indian food as well. The vegan menu is massive. Uh, I'll go for Pad Thai. We ordered the masaman curry and it comes with tofu and vegetables and pineapple. For those of you who don't know what a masaman curry is, it's a peanut based curry. Um, this one was quite spicy. That little lot, or three meals, cost us six quid and so far the best food we've had in Thailand. Yeah. And it's only been a day, but still the best. So we're outside the MBK, which is one of Bangkok's largest malls. They have some amazing vegan food inside, so we're going to go and check it out. So you've got to preload a card, uh, but there apparently is a vegan stall uh, booth over here that's mostly vegan or entirely vegan. Soya. Soya, yes. Thank you. This is a 60 bar plate, so £1.50. That's a soya protein, so like faux meat, uh, brown rice, some green veg, and this is tofu, and it looks awesome. So we got some coconut ice cream. It looks like it's got a little bit of uh, sticky rice on as well. It was 70 baht, so that's about £1.20. Mm. Coconut ice cream, it's really good. Eating it out of the coconut, which is always better. Don't like the plastic spoons, but you're on a boat. If you do come to the floating market, be prepared, there's lots of tourists here. It's still really good though, but there are lots of tourists. It's, rid it's ridiculously overcrowded. I have milk from a cow and a coffee. But then you have not milk from the cow, it's the, from the bean, soya bean. Yeah, I know, but in Thailand we, we normally drink in the morning, early in the morning. Oh, what, soya? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. But do they have it in coffee here now? They have also. Did you know the name in Thai for soya? Uh, Tahu. Tahu. Nam Tahu. Nam Tahu. Yeah. Nam Tahu. Nam Tahu. Oh. No. <laughs> okay. We've never had pistachio milk before, um, but it was quite cheap and they sold it in the local supermarket. Uh, and we're going to see how well it goes in coffee. It's quite nice, yeah, it's like uh, almond milk. This is a market that's on a train track in Bangkok. And when the train comes, the market's got to go again. And then when the train goes, the market comes back out again and it all comes out on shutters and pulleys and stuff. So it's all laid out really quickly again. It's like he knew. <laughs> Tonight, we have found a place. It's called the, I forgot, I can't even pronounce the name of it but it's like a home restaurant, home restaurant sort of thing. Anyway, that's it there. Cool. So this place is a bit of a find. It's mostly vegan. It's authentic Thai dishes. It's organic, it's natural, 
locally sourced, and it's called a home strand as well, so it's someone's home. This is a lab toured or tofu Thai salad. Uh, crispy Thai salad. We've been trying to get hold of this for a little while now, but we weren't sure whether they use fish sauce or not, but we know that this is definitely vegan. It's really good. It's really crispy. Tofu and mushrooms, I think. And it's got a really sticky, sticky glaze to it as well. This is lotus root, and it's the first for me. I've never had lotus root before. And um, it's really nice, it's like chewy, like a really solid potato, like cassava or something like that. Very good, very authentic, very nice, never had it before, love it first. So this is tofu with shiitake mushrooms, deep fried, and it comes with this lovely tamarind and peanut dipping sauce. Tofu, so lovely. to come and try this mushroom curry. It comes with this lovely sticky rice, which is dark in colour, and some shredded mushroom, and it looks amazing. That potentially is the best food that we've eaten in Thailand so far. It was just over three pounds a plate. So we're going to a place called Ethos, which is just over there. Um, we hear it's got incredible vegan food, so I'm going to go and find out. Okay, so this is a vegan pancake with banana and mango and coconut cream. That costs just over three quid. We're in the back of a tuk-tuk and we're on our way to go and check out Thailand's only, as far as we know, vegan food cafe chain. Honestly, this shopping centre is incredible. It's so beautiful, but it's so big we just can't find this one place that we're going to. We finally made it. So they've got everything. They've got breakfast, lunches and cakes. Thank you. So we got this uh, vegan Italian roll. It's obviously Western food, but it still looks lovely. Um, it's got like vegan Parmesan on, sprinkled on top. This is the Death by Chocolate ice cream sundae. I've taken a bite already, but... Big slab of brownie, is it? It's got a big chocolate brownie there. Chocolate sauce, thick cream, more chocolate sauce, nuts, banana, and chocolate bits. That ice cream was to die for. Highly recommend checking out, what, what is it? Veganary. Veganary. This video was made possible by a Thai food brand that's based in the UK with over 40 vegan dishes in the supermarkets and independent retailers. But we'll show you more of that later on. Hello, this is the Thai food, the yeah. good, good Thai food. Yeah. Yeah. Like a papaya. What is this dish? This one, papaya salad. Papaya salad, how do you say that in Thai? Som tam. Som tam. Som tam. Som tam. Okay, cool. That uh, papaya salad looked awesome, but we couldn't have it because right at the very end we saw the lady pouring some fish sauce in it. So the whole thing was vegan apart from the fish sauce. So I'm really gutted about that, but now I'm kind of on a mission to try and find a nice papaya salad to have. It's called May Veggie Home and it's like authentic um, Thai home-cooked food but it's all vegan and it's where all the locals come for their Thai food. The CNN Travel voted the world's 50 best foods. Let me read out some of them. Tom Yum came fourth, Pad Thai came fifth, Som Tam came sixth, that's the papaya salad that we saw earlier. Masaman, which is my favourite, came 10th, Thai Green came 19th. This is the Som Yam salad, um, it's the green papaya salad. It's got a mix of like sweet and sour and salty. Um, it's got a peanut flavour as well. Um, and it's spicy. It's just delicious. Uh, so you recommend the fermented bean paste? No, no, but I recommend a sweet and sour for you. Why is that? But it's small. The bean paste smell? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>
paste. The traditional green papaya salad comes with this fermented bean paste that's not recommended for foreigners because it stinks and it really, <laughs> it really stinks. It smells disgusting. It smells like halfway between pig poo and socks. Too much? No. <laughs> Oh, that is rank. That is, that is horrible. This is a tea leaf salad. Uh, we never heard of it before and we bought it because it sounds really interesting because it's got tea leaves in it and uh, we've never eaten tea leaves before. That is awesome. Oh man, that's good. This is the Tom Yum soup. I think it normally has shrimp paste in it or fish sauce or something. So obviously we can't normally have it, but here we can. But the proof's in the pudding, so I'm going to give it a go. See if I can handle it. <laughs> is that, spicy? that is spicy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That is so nice. So all of that came to 508 baht, um, so that's about 12 pounds. That's really good for this quality food. What about 200? Yeah. 200, yeah? 250. Oh, yeah, just do it. Coast Home Road had only any vegan food at all, but right at the very top of it is this place, which is called May Caddy's Vegetarian, and it, we found a three pound fifty or you can eat vegan buffet, and it's awesome. <laughs> so this is Pat Pong. It really is the seedy side of Bangkok. It's full of strip clubs and bars and nightclubs and. Loads of different things going on. It's also the red light district. This is Koh Sang Road, Bangkok's busiest backpacker area. Let's go and see if we can find some vegan food. So fruit and sweet corn, they're also handing out sort of scorpions and live insects and crocodiles on a spit as well. Absolutely disgusting, so we're not gonna be showing you any of that. Um, but yeah, let's keep walking. Just sweet corn. Sweet corn is the only thing in fruit so far. Already. This costs 50 baht, which is just over a pound. Um, and but they do like a buffet style breakfast. The first thing she put on there was chopped up. They like look like Linda McCartney sausage. <laughs> this is quite amazing. Uh, they don't taste like Linda McCartney. So. Um, very salty. This time round, I've got my, on my second plate. I got a uh, I got vegan frankfurter sausages on it. It's uh, an authentic Thai dish. With, uh, <laughs> with vegan frankfurter <-Fazer> sausages. <laughs> and it's, the whole place cold. <laughs> but it's really nice still. You really know good food when you can eat it cold. I really like the sausage, it's nice, but the tofu is lovely. Okay, that was really interesting. Uh, vegan sausages with a mix of Chinese and Thai food. Uh, and it cost a quid a plate, a quid a plate. Just one pound for a plate, amazing. Fat bua. Fat bua. Fat bua bola. Okay. Fat bua bola. Yeah. It is Thai dessert. Uh, classic. Like a Thai dessert. Yeah. Fat bua bola. Fat bua bola. It's a fat fat bula bula. Fat bua bola. Fat bula bula. 
This is the Fat Boa Bolan and it's a banana and coconut pancake with no milk and no eggs. So it's a vegan pancake, never seen it before. It's, it's bright green. And this is what it tastes like. Look at that! It tastes phenomenal. It tastes amazing. <laughs> Janine, you have to try this. Mm. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, it's like a sponge cake. With a really crispy edge. Like really crunchy and soft at the same time. I'm down with this. So that costs 15 baht, which is about 30 pence. For 35 one, pence. 35 p yeah. for one of these. We're in the Grand Palace and they're making us wear these trousers uh, to cover up. And I bet that mine last half a day before they split. I will put money on it. I'm not going to try it either because I want them to last half a day. Jelly and ice cream. <laughs> so this was 50 baht. It's close to about a pound. Um, and it's coconut ice cream with jelly and nuts. And it's warm on the bottom, so I don't know what's on the bottom, but I'm going to find out. on the bottom. So good. To find the next cafe or vegan place, uh, we've, we've had to come a bit outside of where we've been staying quite a lot. It's taken us like 40 minutes to get here in a, in a grab taxi, in an Uber type thing. It's called Nourish Cafe. They do a red, green and a yellow curry. That's what we're looking for. So this place, it's above a boxing Thai gym type place. Um, take a look. So it's really cool, you can order your food and come out here and sit and watch people train um, for Muay Thai boxing. You can't come to Thailand and not have a Thai green curry. So we have ordered one here. We wanted to find one of the best green curries in the area, so we asked a local vegan group and they said we definitely have to come to this place to try it. And this looks incredible. It's got a massive bit of tempeh in it and some black sticky rice to go with it. It looks good, so let's give it a go. It's lovely and thick. That tempeh, that tempeh in a Thai green curry is like the, almost tastes like the thing that's missing from Thai green curry. It's so, so good. Definitely going to be making that back home. Amazing. Our time in Bangkok is coming to an end, but I am not leaving without getting my favourite dessert, mango sticky rice. It's sweet, it's sticky, it's fruity, it's delicious. It's made by this lovely lady over here called Madame Sue. And I am gonna miss it truly when I go home to England. Yeah. The best mango sticky rice ever. It yeah. was so good. As you can see, we've eaten some incredible vegan food out here in Thailand. Like, absolutely incredible. But back home, it's a little bit more difficult to make Thai food. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of ingredients. As we mentioned earlier in the video, we, this video was brought to you by a British Thai food brand called Thai Taste. They've got over 40 authentic vegan products in their range at the supermarkets and independent retailers, and they're absolutely incredible. There are currently 43 vegan products in the range, which can be found in Waitrose, Sainsbury's, Tesco's, Ocado, Amazon, Whole Foods and many independent retailers. Look out for the red and green curry pastes, vegan fish sauce and the delicious meal kits. Thai taste is made with all natural and fresh ingredients with no artificial flavourings or preservatives. Thai taste products are accessible to all for any cooking ability with guided recipes on the packet and online. <laughs>